So here is the three-piece stick and stamp mat. And it's a fixed stamp blending mat. It has a template, which is wonderful because I have some smaller mats like these. It's the same product, but the ones that I have are smaller. So now you have your mat, your stick and stamp mat for stamping as well as stenciling. And we're going to use it right now for stenciling. But this comes with the template. Let me take the clear plastic off. So remove the protective cover. And I'm going to just stick this down. Then you take your 6 by 6 stencil. So you have your little tabs here on the corner. And these tabs hold your stencil in place. And I needed to turn my cardstock, flip my paper around. And now my stencil is secured. And I can put it down on the mat. And I can now stencil in my design. And I don't have to worry about things moving around. This is a low tack mat, so it's not going to grab your paper so aggressively that you end up damaging your project when you attempt to remove it. You get anything on here. Now I'm using a baby wipe because I got a little ink on there and I just touched it with the baby wipe. It didn't uh, impact the adhesion. It's still sticky and just put the protective mat down and then you can clean your template. And you have you also have a mask here so you can do masking with this okay so the one thing i did want to comment on is the advertisement for this says that it will hold a six by six stencil in place and it will hold a six by six stencil in place but you won't be able to put your stencil under both tabs because when you put it in at the top under this tab then when you go on the side to do this tab, you can't do it without there being some buckling. So you can't put both sides in, you know, um, and this is a six by six. So this is a square stencil and it is a six by six stencil. And I measured it with my T-square. I measured my stencil just to be sure. And it is dead on six by six. This opening on here is five and a half and this is just four this you can look at this and tell that this is a rectangle and this is a square and since the tabs are right here it's really not going to hold a six by six stencil so what i did was i just put the stencil on one end like this and then i put it down on the mat so that the stencil was sticking on the mat on top of the paper and that held it in place if it's going to hold a six by six stencil these tabs need to be a little farther out i like the stick and stamp mats i'm glad that i was able to uh, get to get these i like that it's low tack i like that it cleans up easily and it is durable it is sturdy but you get two stick and stamp mats and you get your mask so it's a good set i think it's a good price and they work